The Battle Mountain Grand Staircase in Hot Springs is the host site for Challenge Dakota and their 9-11 event. Over the past 10 years, they have presented a Grand Stair Challenge for this day. Kevlin's Tyler Lauder took the climb to learn more about the event. In remembrance of 9-11, hundreds of people are climbing this staircase today. And when they get to the bottom, many go right back up for another lap. They say maybe I could do one or two and they do five or six. And everybody is surprised at how much they're able to do. And that's the biggest thing, watching people. Former Air Force member Douglas Nelson has a heart condition, but he doesn't let that stop him from taking part. I only have one lap in me, but I make that lap count. So it took me probably about two hours last year just because I stop at every little uh, rest bench and just enjoy the day and talk to the people. And I did the same thing this year. And the Grand Stair Challenge itself is 141 steps up to the top and 141 steps to the bottom. That equals one lap. And roughly 15 of these laps equal one tower. The record currently is 151 flights. Trying to see how many I could do, and I feel pretty good. And so I didn't have a goal at first, but now my goal is 102 or 113. And if I feel good after that, I'll keep going. This event has climbers of all ages, from kids to adults, and provides a different challenge for everyone. While the young climbers provide energy, those who might struggle or only be able to complete one lap provide motivation to the other participants. Some people set aside their walker or get up out of their scooter to do this. And and and, and everything in between, it's, it's, it's really fun because everybody's at, sort of at their own level, but they're all together. It's not like a race. Because the point of this challenge isn't to win, it's to honor and to remember what happened 22 years ago today. In Hot Springs, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. This event is put on by Challenge Dakota, who hosts multiple events throughout the year. Flags were flown at half-staff today across much of the country in honor of all those killed 22 years ago today.